What is up guys, I'm back in the basement and today I have a really cool and interesting new feature in DaVinci Resolve 17 that I wanna to talk to you guys about because I'm very excited about the release. So, let's get into it. So today I'm talking about one of the new features in DaVinci Resolve 17. Now, if you don't know, I switched over to DaVinci Resolve a couple years ago. I have tons of videos down in the description about that, so go check those out if you haven't already. But one of the things that held me back from completely cutting out Premiere Pro, which I pretty much almost completely cut out and now I have, was actually the multicam workflow. Now in the past, DaVinci Resolve had an okay multicam workflow. Basically, you took your clips in the media pool, you grabbed them all, you selected them all, and then you clicked auto sync based on waveform and created a multicam timeline. The problem was is that if something didn't sync properly, let's say a camera angle didn't have audio or something just didn't match up right, you were pretty much shit out of luck. You had nothing that you could do. You couldn't really manually go in and do it after. You could, but it was a massive workflow problem and it just was really, really difficult and almost never worked. So unfortunately, I had to use Premiere Pro for any multicam shoots. That is until DaVinci Resolve 17. So with DaVinci Resolve 17, they added a very, very new workflow to the multicam. Any timeline can now be converted to a multicam clip and a multicam timeline. What that allows for is not only an auto sync, but also a manual sync. And I'll explain about that later on. So let's say you have a project and you have a bunch of clips like a wedding that you want to sync up. All you have to do is drag your clips down below, line them up in the timeline where each video and each audio is in its own track, and then select all of them and click the auto sync button based on waveform or timecode. Now, of course, if you had timecode, this would be super easy and simple on the machine, but again, if you're using just the waveforms, it works just as well. Now, there is a slight problem I did notice. If you have multiple clips in one timeline or on one track, so let's say your camera splits it into clips, several different clips, it doesn't work, so you have to use the first one. So what I did to work around this is, let's say my camera runs for 30 minutes and it makes four different clips, right? What I do first is I actually take the first clip of each one and the audio, I sync those, and then I can go in and manually sync each after. So in this case, I just drag them to the end of the clip and stack them. But the great part is, and why I think this is such a great workflow now, is because of the manual syncing. So let's say three of my cameras synced up perfectly fine, but one of them doesn't for whatever reason. Maybe it's too quiet, or the audio is too far away, or whatever it may be. I can go in, sync all of the clips that can easily be synced, and then go in and manually sync the other clips. I can then take this entire timeline, create a multicam clip, and then open that multicam clip in a timeline, and there is my multi-camera workflow. So again, the ability to not only automatically sync all these clips, but also manually adjust them, completely gets rid of the need for me for Premiere Pro or any type of multicam workflow in Premiere. So this is one of my favorite features about DaVinci Resolve, and again, for me, it pretty much has killed Premiere completely. There's no reason why Premiere should exist at this point, or at least be in competition, in, at least in my, in my opinion, with DaVinci Resolve 17, and especially after this multicam workflow. So if you're someone who does weddings or music videos or live events, this is just a really great and easy way to sync everything and work together and everything works great. Anyway guys, I'm gonna do some more videos on some other DaVinci Resolve 17 things that I love. I'm also gonna be talking about the color web, so stay tuned for that. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.